Solve the differential equation. Solution. This differential equation is a Cauchy-Euler differential equation because all of the powers of x match the orders of the derivative. For example, this is a power of 2, and this order of the derivative is the second derivative, so it's 2. This is 1, and this is the first derivative. And then here, you could think of it as x to the 0. So the power is 2, and the order of y, the order of the derivative, is 0. y is the 0th derivative, so it matches the power of x. OK, whenever you have a Cauchy Euler, you can always start by letting y be equal to x to the m. Then just differentiate it and plug it into your DE. So using the power rule, y prime, you bring the m, put it in the front, so you would get x to the m minus 1. Then you do it again. So you bring that down, so you get m minus 1, m, and then you subtract 1. So m minus 1 minus 1 is m minus 2. So you call this y, take the derivative, and use the power rule. Then plug everything into your DE. So we have x squared, and then y double prime is m minus 1 times m x to the m minus 2 plus x, and then y prime was m x to the m minus 1 plus 36, and then y is just x to the m, and this is equal to 0. So quick recap, you start with this, take the derivative using the power rule, plug everything in, and you end up where we are. At this point, you want to group together all the x's. So basically, we have x squared and x to the m minus 2. So when we multiply these, we add the exponents. So m minus 2 plus 2 is m. So we have x to the m, I'll put it in the front, m minus 1 times m. Same thing here, 1 plus m minus 1, that gives us x to the m times m. And then here we have x to the m times 36. Now we can factor out x to the m. So we have x to the m, bracket, and then we have m minus 1 times m plus m plus 36. And this is equal to 0. Now you could divide by x to the m. So divide by x to the m. These go away. Okay. So then we get, let's see, so m times m is m squared m times negative 1 is negative m. We have a plus m, right, that's this one, and then we have the plus 36. And all of this is equal to 0. Good stuff. These cancel, we get m squared plus 36 equals 0. To solve this for m, we can subtract 36. So we have m squared equals negative 36. And when you take the square root here, you will get a plus or minus. So taking the square root, we get m equals plus or minus 6i. So we have complex conjugate roots. We can think of this as 0 plus or minus 6i. That way it matches the form alpha plus or minus beta i. So when you're doing cauchy euler equations and you have complex conjugates, Recall the formula was y equals x to the alpha, and I'll use a bracket, c1 cosine beta ln x plus c2 sine beta ln x. Now all we have to do is plug everything in. Notice here alpha is 0, so that's nice, and beta is 6. So x to the 0 is going to be 1, so we don't have to write it because it's equal to 1. So we just have y equals c1 cosine, and then we said beta was 6. So this will be 6 ln x plus c2 sine, and again beta is 6, so 6 ln x. And so that would be the solution to the differential equation. I hope that made sense.